Welcome back, hunters, to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today, we're going to be taking a back seat for hunting big monsters. I wanted to take a look at something that's very important to this game, especially if you want to start improving your character's stats. We're going to be looking at how to go about farming for talismans. If you look to the right on the screen, there's a little cat character holding a little scroll. This is the NPC that you're going to go to to do these quests, and they're a little bit interesting because the quest requirements are very unique and unusual for the most part. So we're going to take a look at a few random quests today. I'm just going to go uh, pick whatever quests I see on the list there. And then hopefully we can fumble around and figure out what's going on. Now in order to do the cat missions, you have to have the second city unlocked. And if you look at the top of the map on the bottom right hand corner, there's a little symbol that looks almost like a paw print. It will take you to this beach area where you have a few little NPCs that you can uh, interact with. And I actually really like the, the zone and the music that's playing in the background. It also looks really calming. And if you go down to the sandy area here where there's some sand castle cat design things, there's an NPC at the bottom under an umbrella. And if you talk to him, you will see two options. Now, the first option is where you get to redeem your paw coins that you'll get for doing cat missions. And in order to get the talisman box, you have to hit the second page and it'll be this box right here. As you can see, it costs four pink paw coins, and it doesn't actually use any of your zenny, so you'll just be collecting these paw coins from doing cat quests. And there's another way also to get these coins as well, but we'll talk about that in another episode. Now, in terms of doing quests, the second option here will bring you a list that I'm not sure what these mean, so Pretty much what I do is I'll click on a random one, and if I know what I'm doing afterwards, I, I can probably farm it if it's a, a very quick quest to do. If not, I'll try another one and see what we have to do in that quest. And this is a very important thing. I would recommend having it on your phone, the Google Translate app. You can take pictures of the quest requirements and hopefully figure out what you need to do for that mission. <laughs> now, you can only do 20 of these per week, so be aware of that fact before you start doing the quests. Let's just try a random one here. Uh... Alright, so I don't know what this one is. We'll just try it. You can do it with party members too, but uh, for this episode, we're just going to go in and just try to do it on our own. If you look on the right hand side, there is a little thing that says 0 out of 7. So I'm going to take a quick gander here with my Google Translate app and kind of get an idea what this is going to require us to do. And I'll show you what I've translated here. So <laughs> the translation comes to... Lost to pay back to the camp pillow head. Okay, good. We're off to a great start. So, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about that. Now, in the blue box, I got these, which looks like dung bombs, and then also a farcaster, which will take us back to our base camp. So, I'm guessing that we have to do something with these, so I'm just going to equip it here, just in case, and I'm just going to move. I know there's only 10 minutes left. I was explaining the, the mission! Okay, so I'm going to try and guess what I have to do here. Little things on the ground. What, what can I... Let's see... I'm gonna try to go after them. Oh, what happened? I don't understand what happened. So, we gotta figure out what, what we have to do here. Um, I'm guessing maybe we have to throw the dung bombs at the NPCs on the map before we try grabbing the thing? We'll find out in a second here. I'm gonna try my best. I think there might be another bag here somewhere. Yeah, there is a bag. Okay, what happens if I do this? Oh, maybe... Okay, so maybe I have to throw the... Oh, you know what? I don't think these are dung bombs. I think we're, we're putting them to sleep, but I might have disconnected. Blah! No! Why you do this to me, game? It's been so long since I've disconnected. I don't know if this is doing anything. Ugh. Oh, what happens if I try grabbing this now? Nothing happened! I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with these! Do I get anything for grabbing this? There's nothing... 
Nothing's happening! Oh. There's a bunch of bags here. Hold on a sec. Maybe I am collecting them and I'm, I don't even know. Oh, no, you know what? I am collecting them. I, I'm dumb. I'm gonna put the blue yen cuckoo to sleep here. I think maybe it's for him. Let's try that. <laughs> that is really satisfying. <laughs> so I just gotta keep collecting these and then I just gotta bring, I guess, the bags back to camp. That's gonna be my guess. Are we still good on time? Yeah, we are. Okay, so I have four bags now. Are those... Okay, I get it. So, <laughs> there's a lot of big monsters on the map, and I'm supposed to avoid- uh oh uh oh Get it, get it, get it! No! There's two bulldromes on the map too, so I have to put them to sleep- uh oh I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit! I'm gonna get it! Run! Woo! Okay. So, these sleep bombs were not meant for the shakalakas, but f more so for these giant monsters that are on the map. Okay, so there is- What? Ah! I did not expect that. I was only looking at... <laughs> I was only looking at the Kezu that was just starting to fly off, but that's fine. I'll put you to sleep. Go to bed. Alright, so how many bags do I have now? So I have... Seven! Perfect! Okay, so now... I think I just use the fart... Uh oh! Fartcaster! Quickly! Before I get hit! Oh! <laughs> And I think I just dropped them off here, maybe? Yes! Alright, so that was the first cat mission, so we figured it out. Normally, I'm used to seeing the, the number going up on the side there in the quest line area. But, uh, yeah, we're good. So, always double check your inventory. That That's gonna be my advice, is if you don't know what you're gonna be doing, just check your inventory. And look, we got eight paw coins, which is really awesome, and I got a gold for that. Sometimes you can get treasure boxes too for doing these quests and that sometimes they'll have the talismans in them so you don't even have to worry about spending your cat coins to, to buy them. Alright, let's try another cat mission. So we already did this one, I believe that's the one that we were in right now, so... Sure, it looks like something to do with the Velocidrome, so let's try that one. Alright, cat mission 2. Now, I see here it just says 1, but these are very specific and there's flash bombs. Huh. I'm gonna go translate it and see what we have to do here. Okay, so for this quest, the translation is showing up as Blue Athlon Whole Crusade King. I, uh, I'm assuming it's referring to the Velocidrome. But I'm not too sure what it wants me to do, so I am going to equip the Flash Bomb. Oh, there he is, okay. So, oh, he's gigantic! Oh my god, it's like a Mega Velocidrome! Do I just fight him? Oh, something's happening. What? What is that? I'm not sure what that means. Oh, I'm wait, no, am I going slow? I can't tell. Wow, that thing is gigantic. Okay, so I gotta figure out what I need to do here. I'm just gonna try to flash bomb him. Okay, so I don't know if that did something. Oh, he fell down. Whoa. I'm having a bit of a hard time controlling my character here. No, ah. I'm using the Gun Lance for this episode too. Just uh, I've been hearing a lot of good things. Uh, they recently buffed it up in a patch, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so he's on the ground again. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh no! I didn't mean to use my Wyvern's Fire. I'm not doing so well here! I can't hit it. I'm having a hard time hitting him, too. It's really annoying. 
Okay, so do I use another flash bomb on him? I'm guessing we do. No? Uh oh. I'm almost out of them. It didn't do anything. So maybe we just have to fight him. I I'm guessing we just have to defeat him. I I'm hoping that's all it is. And if it is just that, I guess the only variant in this cat quest is the fact that we're fighting a giant Velocidrome. Very confusing. Cat missions sometimes can be very odd, so just try your best. Try and figure out what, what it is you have to do. You might not get it right the first time. I've lost many a times. I'm not sure what this blue effect on me is, to be honest. I'm having a really hard time hitting him just because he's so big. I'm gonna use my Wyvern's Fire. Boom! That was a double Wyvern's Fire just because I've unlocked all the capabilities of the Gunlance recently. And there's a little bar that fills up now whenever I hit him with my shells. I guess once it gets full, then you can do a double Wyvern's Fire attack, which is pretty cool. Hmm. Am I doing the right thing? I- I really- Do I just kill him? I hope I'm not just wasting my time. Come on, come here. I don't like fighting them right when they're at the- Ah, come on! Ah! That was close. Ah, oh, come on. Sucko! Where'd he go? He's just bouncing around all over the map. Definitely interesting seeing a giant version of a monster that you're used to. <laughs> yeah, I think I... No, I don't have my Wyvern's Fire cooled off yet. Yeah, I can get a few good hits here. Oh. I'm sliding too much on the map. I should have brought my greatsword. I didn't know there was going to be this kind of fight. I feel like I would have better luck attacking it. Just because the, the gun lance is very precise compared to the greatsword. Yay, I guess so. That was it. Just killed the giant Velocidrome. I can't even carve him. Woo! Alright, so that wraps up another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we'll be taking a look at another way to farm for those paw coins, and that'll be the arena matches. Also, look forward to next week's episode on Monday. We're going to be checking out the new event that just came up for the Plesioth. And I know what some of you might be saying. The Plesioth, that's, that's just a regular monster. Why are they doing an event for it? Well, apparently they're doing something different this time around for fighting him. And I've never seen it. I've, I only know that it's going to be a, a new experience for the fight. And we'll check it out on Monday. Also, remember, starting next week, Thursday is going to be set aside for different games. I, I want to start bringing a little bit more variety onto the channel again, like I used to do. And every Monday will be Monster Hunter Monday, so just be aware of that going forward. I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level.